Welcome back to Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And today, we're going to be diving into the shadowy world of data brokers and how they might be compromising your personal information on websites. Today, I really want to just empower you all to reclaim your privacy with the Delete Me service, right? They are a valuable ally in really working to help keep you more secure. So yes, we'll be talking about a powerful ally in the fight for your online privacy, and that service is Delete Me. So stick around until the end of the video because we have certain offers and special deals for you all who might wanna look into the Delete Me application. So the first question here is what are data brokers? It begs the question. You can think of them as online scavenger, or digital scavengers. They collect your personal information from various online and public sources, your online activity, and even like your purchases. When you're browsing from website to website, you're pretty much giving these data brokers the permission in order to collect your personal information for their own utilization. You know, they will go ahead and go further and package all of your personal information up and sell it to advertisers, companies, and anyone willing to pay for it. So it can be very scary when you start to maneuver around on online. Now you do have the right to opt in or opt out of data brokers, um, collecting your information, and you can do that on your own. You can opt in and opt out. And, but the thing about it is that it's a very tedious process where you might even be going through tens or even hundreds of data broker websites requesting to remove your information and really overall just finding where your information is stored on these data broker sites. Now, when I say these details or your personal information, I mentioned a couple earlier, but let's go a little bit more into detail about that. They are collecting things like your name, first, middle, and last name, your age, you know, email addresses, whether it's your personal emails or even your work emails and other sensitive data that kind of falls into that category, right? Whether court records or any other type of public records that you might not want to just be going out there and getting sold without your notice. You know, just imagine someone knowing where you live, who your family members are, where you previously lived, where you went to school, and even your shopping habits, right? It can be very, it can be a very creepy type of situation or creepy type of feeling. So the threat here isn't just about getting junk emails or spam emails, but it can be far more serious or potentially far more serious. We're talking about the potential for identity theft, for phishing scam, and potentially uh, corporate espionage, right? When you take it into the mat. But I think the thing about it is that you are not alone in this particular fight. Introducing Delete Me. Let's, let's talk about it. It's a subscription service that acts like a digital eraser for your own personal information on the web, right? They'll go in, they'll utilize their professionals in order to delete your information from a lot of these data broker websites. So how does Delete Me work? Like I mentioned, it's a four step process. You submit your information, you know, experts that work for Delete Me, they go ahead and search for all your information from these data broker websites. So you submit it, you put it in the hands of the professionals and they start the removal process where they scan and they delete all year round. So they'll give you different reports, give you updates about your information. And you can even find uh, the results from what they've done from just even searching yourself on Google website. You know, the team of experts dig deep into the recesses of the internet to find and remove your personal detail from hundreds of data broker sites. And the best part, they keep doing it all year, just like I mentioned. So pretty much what you do is that you jump right there into the application of Delete Me. They take you through an eight step process where you first start putting in your personal information that you want deleted from all of these data broker sites. The second one is that you, your address, your contact information, identification, you'll upload maybe like a license or a passport because some of these sites for identification, they require you to upload something like a license or maybe a passport to give a verification of actually who you are before they delete your information. This is valuable information or valuable data for the professionals that work for Delete Me in order to make sure that they can be successful in getting your information off the data broker sites. You will enter employer information. That's something that can be widely available. I mean, if you went to the conference and put your company email down with your name and your number, all of that information can be siphoned from the internet and used by these data broker sites. You know, family and relatives, that's another way. Um, authorization, you give authorization. You give, if there are sites that you want to retain your information, you can add those here. And then you click submit and then off to the races. 
they go and it says here, thanks for completing your delete me data sheet. By signing up for delete me, you agree that and it gives things that you agree to. Yeah, I have read and then now it goes forward. After you submit, then you're able to see reports of your progress. Here it says that I have submitted the report. It says within the next few days, right? I get the privacy re report around the week of March 4th. This is the next time the report come out. So it does it, like I mentioned before, all throughout the year. It does this. They are continually working and working in order to help help you out. And they also have something here. It's called a privacy advisor. So here I can make a request um, if I'm looking to make particular requests. Now it's saying here, did uh, did you find out a data broker with your information? Let our privacy advisors take care of the issue. So it has very good reporting. You can go in here. You can make additional requests if you notice that you are suffering or experience some lack of service. They have all these different little tabs here on the left. And I think this one is really cool here. So you can actually search yourself on Google. And it says here to please wait for three weeks after the first removal report to see some changes in your Google search. Probably just to round this piece off, I'll just say, wait three weeks in order for you to go ahead and search yourself and see where you have been removed from these sites. And at the top of the privacy dashboard, one thing that's really good for you to do is that if you feel like you might've made any errors or you might find out that there's some more information that you wanna add, you can always update your data sheet here and then you can go again step by step in order to update the information that you put in. So check it out. I just got an email to tell me that my first report for Delete Me had just been generated. So let's take a look at what the dashboard looks like now. So when I go ahead and go into the dashboard under the reports tab here, I'm able to see where it says view re report. When I click on view report, it pops up this document here and it gives me a 13 page overview of everything that the professionals at Delete Me have been able to do. Let's take a look at it here. So here as I'm scrolling down, it's giving me information about it. But then the thing that I think that is really cool and really important here is that it gives me my report. It tells me what they were able to scan, what they were able to re remove here. So as it says here, it's been 634 total listings reviewed. Um, and I've been removed from 157 of those total listings. Um, data brokers with your personal information was 62. Total PII or personally ad identifiable information. Kind of messed that up. But yeah, so this is how much time it took for them to do this. Now imagine six and a half worth of hours searching and four and a half hours of removing for yourself, right? That's something, seeing that we don't have this expertise or I know I don't have the expertise or that skill it would take much longer probably for me to do that. So it just tells me and gives an overview of it here. And then it even goes into the details of the sites where the information was removed. All of these background checks and all of these data broker sites, all gone. Thank you so much to the, to the Delete Me professionals for being able to remove this information for me. And kind of even a little bit more of a confirmation is that when I search my own name online, one thing that I'm seeing here is that this is, these are, websites and information where I've actively published information on or places where I want to see. I'm not seeing those .gov websites or I'm not seeing all of those data broker websites when I'm searching my own name. I'm seeing things that I've uploaded, things like my LinkedIn account, things like on the Sam's um, Institute website where I'm a, I've been a speaker at several of their conference. My Twitter account or my X account, again, LinkedIn interviews, that I've done. I mean, this is very streamlined for anybody who was looking to search my name, making me so much more, I guess, digitally findable um, on the web. So thank you so much to delete me again for being able to do this particular service for me. And again, sign up for it for yourself in order to get your data removed from these data broker websites. Now, kind of seeing how the service works, you know, one thing about me is that I've grown to trust delete me because they're dedicated to one thing, and that's protecting my personal information online. And their customer support is top notch and they understand privacy isn't just a feature, it's a right. Delete Me's mission is primarily to scrub your digital footprint clean. And they've been involving constantly to tackle the ever changing ways that data is being shared and sold. So you won't just be there at one point of time of where your data is, but they're continually researching and finding ways to keep you safe online when you sign up for the service. So what are you waiting for, right? I signed up for it. I've been able to get reports back and understand where my data has been scrubbed. 
But if you want to take advantage of the application yourself or the service yourself, you can sign up for Delete Me utilizing my code right there in the description section and it gets you 20% off of your plan. Protect yourself, protect your family because privacy really matters. Thanks for watching. And again, this is Struggle Security. We are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. And hopefully this has alleviated one of your struggles. And that is that of getting your personal information offline and getting them off all of these data broker websites so that you can be more secure and feel empowered to keep you more safe within this overall digital ecosystem. Thanks again. And hopefully I can see you again soon and stay safe.